see all the people standing out even in the hang of just throngs out here. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was told there were 69,000 RSVPs for us. about politics, but I read a little. <laughs> and I read where someone said, it looked like the people who won in 16 were mad. Y'all aren't mad, are you? No! Yeah. Are you glad? Are you happy? Yeah. Why are you happy? Because then next Tuesday we're going to do what? Yeah. Absolutely. Who's going to be governor of Georgia come next Tuesday? Yeah. That's why we're here. And uh, it is... Lieutenant Governor Ken and Jeff Duncan talked about our closure is going to be here shortly. He's got a 110 mile, 110 mile an hour fastball, and he's going to sit the right pass. So uh, I want to thank all of you for being out here today. You all got this started in 2002. You know that, don't you? And, uh, it's been a great ride. I want to thank Governor Beal for his leadership here. And you're going to get another great leader, and Brian Kemp is the next governor of Georgia. You know, Georgia changed a few years ago. You may know that many of you, like me, might have been Georgia Democrats at one time. And the fact is that uh, Georgia changed. You've got some friends out there that still may label themselves as Democrats, but they understand this woman's not a Democrat. She's a socialist and they do not want her. So, go home to all your friends and neighbors who you may not think have a red hat on, but say, come on, let me go to the polls with me and vote for the next governor of Georgia who will lead Georgia in the right path of conservative leadership that we've been used to. Come on and vote for Brian Kemp. Cortez landed at Veracruz, Veracruz, you know, he, built, he burned the boats because we're not going to go back. We're not going 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 back. I didn't think so. You know what? If you look at the statistics, demographics, demographers, check out this. Do you know where people are le leaving the states and coming to places like Georgia, they're leaving San Francisco, and that's what Brian Kemp's people want, want to bring San Francisco to Georgia. No, no they don't want to. With taxes, they want to take away your guns. And I can't believe this. They don't think that this country ought to have borders, and everybody just ought to come on in and vote. Yes! Most of America agrees with you, absolutely. That's what we're fighting for. Folks, I want to thank you for being here today. The battle is not over. And uh, you see all the money from New York and San Francisco and all of the crazy places around here that come out and support a candidate like this. This is the clearest contrast I believe Georgia has, will, has ever had and will ever have absolutely. in the choice of a governor to lead us out. And we're going to stand hard, we're going to stand strong, and lead and vote for the person who can continue to lead Georgia to be the best place in the country to do business. You want Brian Kemp as your governor? Yeah! You all, I know I've had, I think, taken a picture with half of you, but you got these things right here? When Brian Kemp gets up here, when President Trump gets up here, you take a picture. And you post that and send it out to everyone on your friend list and make sure they go vote on Tuesday. Hey we have record turnouts. We have record turnouts. But we can take nothing for granted. The risk is too great, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot afford to sit idly by and say it's all done. Brian Kent's going to win. Please don't do that. Make sure you vote. And go take 10 with you to go vote for Brian Kemp for governor, please. Well, I want to thank you for coming today. Thank you for letting me honor serving as your governor here in Georgia. It was a great honor. 
I love each of you. I love this state. Mary and I plan to come back here. We want it safe for our children and our grandchildren and for all of you. Let's elect Brian Kemp as governor of Georgia. Thank you. All.